been violent. Yeah. That shit been violent since I've been born. <laughs> I was born in the We've been Me we've too. been distracted. Well, the real picture is they pushing us, they pushing us out. And you can see it more in places like Baltimore and Philly up north when we live in these these little uh concrete ghettos. We don't own none of this shit, man. Bro, but you know what they you know what they do? They hit you with that crime and that killing. And yep. then people gonna get to the point to where they begging for law enforcement to step there you in. Go. And then there when you they go. step in there and, and, and shut down everything, they not gonna look like the dirty ones. We're gonna be like we'll be going around giving speeches like, oh, we did it to ourselves, and they're gonna be sitting there licking they doing the bird Thank man, you. you know what I'm saying, hand rub and everything. Like, yeah, we're about to get all y'all asses up out of here, and then we're about <coughs> to make this thing happen like we want it to happen. And they're gonna do the yo, same. Yo, big C, big C, big C, can you hear me? Yo, Big C. Yeah, Chuck. Yeah. Yeah, yo, bro. What what's going on with this whole situation, bro? How this affecting Memphis right now? Man, for one, I'm in the house. <laughs> Good idea. And like it just, you know, my phone, my phone been going crazy and ham and shit. Like motherfuckers just sent me pictures. No, I got the actual pictures and shit. I I wouldn't have even show share that shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, like this shit is like, I don't, I mean, cause like I've been, the, I've been known, man, you go back 30 years, bro. I've been knowing man since we were teenagers. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah bro. So like, like they were, they were my, I, when I had my people, this is my partner. They were my, Damn. It, 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 it's crazy, man. I just like, it just like when, just sitting up here, just seeing how everything like they they laid on them. They laid them. They charged. They fell them the whole time. Wow. So, so last I heard, they like, like they put a lot of like because I think he's, they they saying that he was shot over ten times. Is that true? Is it right? What you right? That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. ten, but like yeah, it was like all right. So this is just common sense. It ain't nothing nobody said. Nothing like that. All what happened. All right, so basically, uh, he had the driver was dropping him off at the place, the place called Perion. It's in East Memphis, so you know how they gentrify, take uh -huh. the people from the projects downtown, and give you a house in the further out from the city. And all that, and they, they, they turned to the hood. So they base driver had dropped him off. He was going down the street to their family restaurant to go get something, quote unquote, or whatever. They was, so when he pulled pulled the car, they pulled up, he didn't get in the building. It was right there on him. So they let you know, common sense 101, they've been following you the whole time. But I heard like people was telling him like, keep his head on the swivel, like even going to that particular event. Is it is there some truth to that? Now, I, I, don't know, I don't know about that, but like when we see each other, you know, like I see them at, like I go eat at the restaurant sometimes. Every night I pop in or we see each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, man, you know what I'm saying, man. Stay up, bro. Keep your head on the swivel, and shit, bro. I'm like, man, you like it's the same thing with Dolph. Same thing because everybody from the city, bro, so they feel comfortable, right? You know what I'm saying? You're like, bro, man, keep your head on. Know them niggas, man. You know, I'm straight, man. I see, I'm cool, bro. You know, so he ain't riding bulletproof, so you know. Nigga think, you know, everything gravy. But shit ain't gravy. You know, that's some young nigga shit. Yeah. To come in a, a, a parking lot, bro. Ain't no grown, grown ass man on that kind of shit. And bro, like, even, yeah. like, I don't know if this is what people were saying in Memphis, but the internet, they like, yo, he he was questioned by the um, police in regards to young Dolph murder. You know, he on pictures and videos with straight drop. They trying to tie in the two. But like, you know a young Dolph, bro. Like, um, what was your relationship with Young Dog? First of all, bro, can you let them know we got twenty four hundred people on uh YouTube and about fifty six on uh, Clubhouse, man. Uh, you know, I I I've been knowing Dog when Dog first started. Before he started rapping and shit, that's I've been knowing Dog before he started when he boom boom boom. He he had acquaintances with a family member, man. So I see him at Auntie House and all that kind of stuff like that. I grew up met Jugnum when I was like 18, 19 years old. So we've been knowing each other since then. So I know both people well. You know what I'm saying? When I mean well, like sat down, eat at a dinner table with a nigga and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And so it just crazy. I just don't understand, man. But 
It's just so much. At some point, you got to let some shit slide. But also, I do understand the same fact that if you shot at me, I am not going to let that slide. And, you know, like, it's, it's just crazy, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just bad, man. It's just, but, like, you, when that shit happens. city, though, right now, like, we understand a lot of things because we was talking earlier, like, people was like, yo. Man, we, we, know, we know how the streets go. For years, yeah, right? we know how the streets go, and that's street business. You know, street business going street business going to be the street judge. That's right. how street business go. All right, so ain't nothing you can do about that. My feelings ain't got nothing to do with street business. That's street business. I felt the same way about when, you know what I'm saying, when when Dolph passed. Right. Same thing, because I knew him. So when you know somebody, bro, on a personal level, you are, you're going to feel some kind of way. But at the same time, like, because I have a mentality, like, if you step on my toe, I know I'm not nowhere near for you to even step on my toe. So you went out your way to step on my toe. Now my mentality is I'm gonna step on your foot. Cause you cause you may inconvenience yourself to come step on my toe. So, but like this is young nigga shit. That's just like by me being a older nine and seeing so much in life, bro, them young niggas to do some shit like that. Ain't no nigga in their fathers doing that. Right. Not that one. Them that's young nigga shit. Cause I mean, so this is you you got you got to just stand on a nigga to do something, but like you don't know how these people feeling, how I feel about this, how I feel about that. You did this to me, and I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? So, and like the as black men, bro, we just no, we ain't caring about shit no more. You don't think so? Hell no, nah. bro. We trying to get out. Most of these niggas trying to get their leg back, bro. These niggas trying to get even. Read the comments. Listen to what these it, niggas saying in the comments. It's yeah. just as simple as a motherfucker. <laughs> these niggas trying to get even. These niggas trying to get even, bro. It, it, if you got 50 crying emojis, you got 70 laughing emojis. Mm -hmm. That's just, that just how it is. So it, we desensitize the shit now, bro. We desensitize and demonic. We hurt. We, we in pain. You know what I'm saying? But we, so when, when, when we, yeah, we in pain, but what we doing? We trying to get even. Salute to now, uh, now it's up the scope. Up. Yeah, it's up the scope now. And I just hate it, bro. I ain't lying. That just, it just, yeah. it just. And, what, and the sad part about it, that ain't gonna be the, the end. Bad part, that, that, this ain't even the end of the shit. This no, yeah, end. now you can get ancillary niggas. Yeah, you got this, ancillary this, niggas. That's only the pop. beginning. This only the beginning. Some yeah. of us, some of us. I'm 49. Some of us been about 40 funerals, man. I'm just in Philly. I ain't we ain't even counting all the other cities. So that goes to show you just how much PTSD and traumatized we are as a people. And what happens is we normalize this shit to the point where you can look at the people in the, look at the people in the, in the chat. And some of the vicious things that they're saying. That's how yeah, fucked up you are. It's a whole lot of like even on the platform, people came up here on the platform and and said it because I'm not really focused on the comments or reading them too yeah. much when it comes to the negativity. But at the end of the day. Like I, I do give people the voice, so they click the link just like anybody else can. And somebody, like a couple of people, came up here like, "Yo, I'm glad it happened," and this and that. Like, R.P. Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? So, you no, know, it, it's just that's the way the world works. Yeah. Somebody said earlier that they even cried when Young Dolph died. You feel me? It really touched. Them. Yeah, bro. I mean, we, like, we got like, 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 people you, working. Right? Dolph, right? Dolph forever. That was you. Yep. <clears throat> Real talk. I think as you get as I as I get older, you get a chance to see. I've been I went to a funeral one time, and in the forty funerals I went to, I seen a mama crying and the whole family shutting the casket crying. That started to change my perspective because I started to see the humanity outside of the this world I was living in. There's so many other people that get hurt when when one person dies. So we talking about this person that died, but what about all the people that was connected to him in the family? We don't we don't even think about none of that kind of stuff. Yeah, you talk about, like, I'm I, talking I, about the family, like 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 that man got a shabby old daughter. Mika, though, in the comments, though, she say I'm from Memphis. Well, all of this thing, y'all, fifty up, years yeah. old, and it's yeah. a war zone, and it's like that. It's like well, that, really. well, all that stuff y'all saying, reality, they don't fit into this category for the simple fuck. These ain't people who died. These are people who got murdered due to their ignorant street ties. So all these mothers too, they're crying. It's false cries. You know why? Just like my mother knew when I was walking out my crib, she knew I was being an evil bastard. She knew I was out there robbing. 
selling drugs, so she wasn't going to shed a tear. Does she love me naturally? Yes. Naturally, if, if I died or if I got murdered, she's going to hurt. But it was a false card because you know your children, criminals. Man, well, I hate that both of these, both these men young, got, both of them got kids, though, bro. And so uh, what? And he, like ain't, he, ain't, he ain't care about his kids when they was out there doing that dirt. Yeah, when bro. they did whatever they hold, did. Hold on, my, hold on, my They guy, didn't care. Finish, bro. Hold on, bro. I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about the and kids. And there's an eye for an eye in the street. That's yeah. how the streets is. Yeah. But see, yeah. the chat, on, just, like, just like everybody, hold on one minute, bro. Just like everybody in this chat, in this room, everything. Don't know, everybody know one day you're going to die, but don't nobody think you're going to be them. Next. Don't yeah. nobody in this right now think it's going to be. That's why, we, that's, see, this is an example like when people die, people don't have insurance. Once they again, they shit. didn't die. You're using the wrong phrase. He didn't die. He got murdered. Murdered is death, bro, at the end of the day, man. Yeah, but so he didn't die. die. Okay, okay, dying okay, and getting murdered are okay, two bro, different bro, things. Bro, where else, my nigga? The nigga gone. The bro gone. Him being murdered death. was the cause. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Do you think they're going to do a goddamn murder or a death? Damn. Yes, bro, they're bro, doing bro, a bro, murder bro. investigation right hold now. On. No, yes. bro, bro. I said a murder or a killing or a death in bombing funeral. It's a death, bro, period, at the end of the day. How he died is another thing. Both All right, so don't say how he died. Yeah. He didn't die. He, he got, got murdered. Nah, I'm a grown man, bro. You can't tell me what the fuck to say, bro. Watch your mouth. I'm not right. telling you what to say. Okay, I'm just telling bro. you you're the wrong interpretation. Okay, bro, I'm not talking to you. So I'm through talking to you. So hey, let's just sit on it. But at the end of the day, these people got, it's kids out here, bro. They're going to right. go without their parents. Right. Both yeah. sides, that part. It's parents. They're going to, they lost a child early, whatever the case is. That's what I'm talking about. Then it's the fact that when you reach success as black men, we still got to keep that nigga shit. Some shit you guys go ahead and let go. It's more shit to lose. Okay, fuck it. I'm through with that. You got to just drop that shit. Let that shit go. Because it's bigger than that. Then on top of that, what's going to happen, it's going to reflect back to these young niggas. Because these young niggas going to go do, they this dying now for they get to man. They dying they for they get to So they going to implement. They crash not over nothing. Yo, That's what I'm talking about, bro. Let me say this, OG. Then you can't get too comfortable, bro. You can't get, regardless of whatever age, bro, whatever it is, you can't get too comfortable if you straight from the street. Some shit you got to graduate from. They Niggas will kill you and your family, they Big C. Shit. You a bitch. Fuck my dick, Big C. Niggas will kill you like they did that. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, yeah, man. Like, now, now, don't now, what thing about it, man? We don't do that shit here, man. Who? Who did? Who? Now, I ain't Yo, that that, 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 that nigga just threw me out the room. That nigga's a bitch. That nigga's a bitch. Who threw you out of the room? Nah, you didn't. Be out of here, though. You good? Damn, man. See, you can't. Oh hell! What the hell is going on? That's, That's the dude out, that huh? said he cried when Dolph died. <laughs> hey, hey, can I say something? Go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm just gonna say this, right? Something I always talk about. Black dysfunction is profitable for everybody but black people. Yeah, you know I mean, you know these all these other groups profit off of our dysfunction. Um, when the brother said he he got murdered, we have mur we've been having murders since the heroin epidemic in the '70s. We've been having these things, but I want people in the chat room to understand. White people said things about us, called us all kinds of names and said we was incapable of doing things and capable of running communities. And I disagree. We've been placed in certain bags that that we that our behavior dictates the things that's happened to us here in this country. We don't have to keep doing this. Right. We have to we have to we have to start having conversations about. That's why I said we got to learn to see humanity in each other. I've been to 40 funerals. Um well, we going to just keep it going. So my son, my 16 year old son is going to be having the same conversations 10 years from now that we have. And then his son, at what point does the cycle stop? Like I said, I, I, I've been watching murders in Philly since the 80s, 82, 83. It's 2024. We still doing it. at some point, at some point, we're going to have to figure something out. It's going to have to stop because it's, it's all it's, it's, it's citywide wherever we at. And right. I, I don't believe I don't believe that that we niggas and porch monkeys and coons and all that type of shit that they said that we was. It's, it's a whole bunch of positive out in our land here in Memphis in Philly. It's a whole bunch of positive black people doing positive things. We need to start focusing more on positivity to get our people to start manifesting that. We actually celebrate death. We put it in our music. We put it in our dance. Like we 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 propagate. We push it. And then when something happened, we act like we shocked when it come knocking at your door. 
So we got to start promoting more positivity. It was 571 homicides in Philly in 2021, but it was 12,000 kids that graduated from school. All everybody talked about was the fucking homicides, but that was only about 3% mm. of the population. Damn. We didn't even talk about the kids, the black kids that graduated. It's like 900,000 black people in Philadelphia. Yes. Nobody talked about that. How well, Big Juke was in a position to do the right thing for to, to, to cease everything yeah. down, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. How many black kids graduated in Memphis last year? I bet you they won't tell you that. We're not going to focus. We need to focus more on. Yeah. Uh, we got. We got to talk about our, our our pain. But it's but it's we have a lot of it's a lot of decent black people in Memphis that get up and go to work every day that do productive yeah. stuff. It's more we good people than bad. That. And in Chicago, we don't promote it. Yeah. yeah. It's more good than bad. But our kids, our kids don't know. They don't see the good. So what they do is they, they emulate what they see. We don't we don't promote black professionals. We don't promote the uh, 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 the, the, the the positive side of ourselves. It's like uh, Chicago got three million people. You know, it's like a million black people. It's a whole bunch of black people that got money that's doing positive stuff. All they yeah. talk about is the damn gangs. Yeah. That's all for. That's it. Yeah, the culture. Yeah, the culture. Memphis ain't just full of niggas. Yeah, it, it ain't number six hundred, about almost seven hundred thousand people in, in the in the Memphis area, man. For sure. All right, so this is how I always have think. I always have thought like this here, though. Nah, nah it's, it's, it's more than that. If I'm in a, if I'm in a room and I get, and I'm not to my, when I say in the room, I mean in the business setting, I get a chance to get in. My play always be, let me find somebody who look like me that I'm familiar with that I can get some game from. Then I'm going to go back and get the game back. It's just like you in the street and you got a plug on something. Bruh, I got to run. Come on, let's get on. We got to have, like I always say, like if Chuck asks me something about business, I don't mind sharing the plug. You can't get all the money. You can't get it all, bro. There's no way possible. But what you always do, bro, you put somebody on and you duplicate. Then you got power. It's number in powers. Like people be wondering how in the hell they get a job and it's a white person come along and they, you train them, they end up being that person boss. You see what I'm saying? So Big C, oh, I understand what you're saying, but Big Joke got enough name and power in our city to just stop all this yeah, you can't, shit, just like, Okay, Just like I got a good relationship with Empire. Like I tell the nigga, bro, you got an artist, what you doing, you got your own money, bro. Let me give you over information to them folk, bro. You gonna get y'all some money out of these streets, bro. I know what's gonna happen to y'all in these streets. I know what's gonna happen. Because I got too many niggas, bro, that you had the green dot, my nigga, and put niggas that went in and all that shit, bro. So you got to put somewhere in a position of power. You got to share the plug, bro. That's what black people got to learn how to do. You got to share. You got to share the plug. You can't get all the money, bro. The more people you put on, that's the more powerful you become, though. That's what they scared of. They scared of that. That's why they'll take one person. They'll take one black person and isolate him. And then they think he better than anybody. Hey, everybody. Bro, but I'm going to tell you. I, so me, I, I got pulled in certain places, bro. But at the same time, just like when when I was doing my business with uh with three six, I did my thing with them, boom, 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 heard back, you know, how they move, how they did. I'm so okay, well, cool. Let me shit, bro. I got a nigga over here, they do this. Boom, boom, boom. Bro, you get on, put somebody on. The more people you put on, bro, you got more people behind. That's just like if you put a nigga but on they, in the but, game. But they just, hold, on, hold on, hold on one minute, hold on. That's just like if a nigga put a nigga on in the game. They gonna look at him, that's big bro. Big homie put me down. They gonna respect big homie. It's the same thing in the corporate world. But Big C, it's time for us to have a real conversation. If you got a record label full of gangster rappers talking about killing, and you the CEO, and you get killed, that's your whole that's your whole brain. This is not like once you get put on. Is anybody saying stop calling women bitches? Stop rapping about drugs. Rap about something else. That's the thing that we gotta talk okay. about. Now hold on. Now check okay. this out. This how they right there go. This how they go. Yeah, you want to do it, but them record labels ain't finna cut you no check. And just so happen your customers, which people listen to music, most of them don't want to hear it. Because this is what these niggas talking about. This is what they rapping about. This what this what this what they talking about. These young dude that's 20, 21, bro. I remember I pulled up on my artist when we first met. You know, he affiliated. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm pulled up by myself. It's 13 of them. But I get out like a man. I'm a man for anything. You know what I'm saying? And if you a man, people gonna respect you as a man. They see hoe in you, they're gonna play with hope in you. You see what I'm saying? They're gonna play with the hoe in you because they see it and they smell it. 
You know, it's like if a dog spit out, the dog smell you scary, the dog gonna bite you. He gonna bite you every it's time. It's the same thing with people. Every so time. I pulled up with respect. What's up, bro? What's your name, bro? Big C. Just taking everybody's hand. I'm in the heart of the hood. But I sit there and give them some games, something that, that they need an uncle. Ain't no uncles no more, bro. Ain't no stepdaddy that don't but, like but, you no but, more. But Big C, hold, 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 hold on a minute. Hold on, bro. Let me finish. When I sat there and talked to them like men and showed them what they didn't know and showed them how to overcome that, bro. Everybody, let me get your number. Uh, Mark, let me get your number. Ain't nobody never talked to us. So niggas that make it, bro, they don't come back and give back and talk to nobody, bro. For the most part, they ain't doing it. And man, and now, man, once they blow up, they leave. Easily, the man. That's true. Yeah, you can't do it like that, bro. Yeah, three you can't do it like that. Three okay, give it out, give it out, turkeys. Now, now I respect both everybody for getting the artist, putting some niggas on from your hood, put because everybody gonna put on who they close to next. But at the same time, it gotta be some. You gotta come in and tell bro, okay, brain, look here, what you 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 don't know how to rap though, but you good with your computer, okay, man, let him be your PR dude. He good, he can do this. Show them they skill set because a lot of people got skills, bro. They just don't know how to bring it yeah, out. That that's understood, but this twenty twenty four, and we gotta push back on gangster rap dog, like. What you're saying is right from a business standpoint, but what they're saying and what's being put out, we got to take a stand and say, look, enough of the music that's out here, and we're not promoting or putting nobody on that's talking like this or moving like this. Man, we don't be outside the rapping. That's, it's <laughs> other people that's rapping that's not gangsters and not affiliated. We can we can choose to not deal with people who gangsters and affiliate. Right, and one point, and one point, and it, cheese, hold, hold, hold on, big C, hold on, big C. At one point, the games shut out the games and all that shit from the game. They kept it art. Now they they done infiltrated the game. Now it's time now, for us to push. Hold up. Now it's time for us to push the street stuff back in the street and let artists, kids who are not in the streets, don't know about drugs, come I, into the come that, into exactly the game. Exactly what you're saying, bro. And this how it used to be. Well, you remember when we were kids, right? We were walk to school. We walking to school, and the niggas that doing street shit, they will let you do that. No, you going to school. They will let you hang on the corner with them. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Now niggas that's in charge of the street, they 25. So they put niggas 12 year old down. Yeah. I'm not see, talking they, about they that. They, no, hold on. When kids were kids, when they had a, if you played sports, if you I played in the band or know, whatever, man. they gonna let you keep them damn drums. You ain't finna come in these streets. Yeah, they would not man. let you come in the streets. Now they done unlocked the door and told everybody well. But see, it's more kids that's not in the streets that we overlooking because we are in the streets for the music. It's kids that's not in the streets that's got regular jobs that's artists that can't get in the game because the game won't hear about it from the street. That's true. That's the listen, hold on, hold on. And you also got to stand up and say, bro, I, I know y'all, bro, I ain't with that, bro. That ain't my stilo, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, since I was 13, bro, I've always been a money getting, I'm going to get me some money. Because my mama couldn't afford to do everything I nigga need to do. And my mama just simply had to talk. My mama talked about the birds and the bees with us. My mama talked about sex was this here. You ain't having no kids. You bring a kid in my house. I'm putting you out. Now go play. Word was law. She ain't had to give him the detail to my condoms and put it on. It was what she said. Now kids are hearing their mama getting fucked in the next room. That's what's going on. Big you see so what let, me ask you, let me ask you a question about the music industry. The music like, will change when the circumstances in the hood change, bro. That's what Big C saying, my nigga. Like, if people I, ain't buying it, like, I get what you saying about conscientious rap. No, 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 no. no. I'm no, saying, I mean, I'm saying from, I'm saying from the VP level at a music label. I'm not talking but, about but, the streets. Like, but the VPs where, where, don't control what the consumers want to listen to. Like, they're only they, as good as the people they want to listen to. You can't force people to buy what they buy. You know what I'm saying? And as far as the artists, niggas is going to rap about what they come up around. That's the whole purpose of rap to begin with. We street reporting. Even though some a lot of it is in the creative sense, but nigga, but, but these niggas, this should have changed when the circumstances change. We got to change the, the circumstances on the street before we start talking about what niggas is doing in the booth. I mean, sure, but then, that, then that, part of being an OG too, bro, is this year, bro. You don't put no young nigga in the car with you, make no nigga go do your dirt. You don't up. do, man. Come on, bro. That ain't man. Like that's what's going on, bro. You don't put no young nigga up and go do crash out for you. Take your yeah. charge for you. Yeah. See, now, hold on. This is what happened. Most males have stopped being men. Mm. You see what I'm saying? People want to be in the entertainment business. 
It's so many fashions in the entertainment business, bro. It's crazy. Art department. You got publishers, publicity, you got marketing. It's so many things to do besides being the rapper. See, once you get in a certain position, bro, you got to tell a nigga what come with it. So like, you, like, nigga, like, I, what co- see, there ain't nobody telling about the consequences that come with it. See, like now in Tennessee, it ain't no more 30% if you do a crime. You got to do day for day. Yeah. So how they, how, hold on, check it out. How they going to track this crime, this right here? Bro? They going to say, do what they going to do. Y'all followed him to get him. So y'all premeditated and y'all, okay, boom, boom, boom. You're looking at 50 years. Hold on. Before they jumped in the car, didn't nobody think this crime worked 50 years. Trust they, me. They just yeah. yeah, you got to get out the neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? Warehouse. Ain't nobody thinking it, but it also, but but hold on, but and this is the bad part about it though. It go back, I'm gonna throw the Bible on you, bro. You gotta reap what you sow. It gonna come back. Ain't no shortcuts no more, bro. I'm gonna jump off. Let me say this. Ain't no shortcuts no more. Let me say this real quick. Ain't no shortcuts. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna. I gotta jump off. Um, the thing. The thing is this, right? I, you know, I came up from the gangster rap era, and before we had gangster rap, I mean, I remember when Karis One had "Love's Going to Get You," and he was he told a hood story with a message behind it. Then I saw gangster rap usher in. But this is the thing: when gangster rap came in, I was on a block. I was on a fifty thousand dollar a day block. The culture. Is what create is what created gangster rap. Gangster rap was created by what dudes were seeing, seeing what was going on outside, and they put it on wax. Right, I do want drill music. Drill right. music is created from the culture. Until you change the mindset of the people where we come from, you're not going to be able to change the music or anything. Now, I get what the other brother. That's just saying. what I was just saying. I was I just saying that. Brother, yeah, I get what the other brother was saying about um, the the. Um, the the um the, the music industry because that's what see the Lawrence Tucker was talking about but everybody told her she was crazy when she tried to call it out back in the nineties everybody said she was crazy now we having the same conversation but until you change the way that a lot of some of our people think in the communities that we come from you're not going to change anything drill music is 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 a byproduct of the culture they was killing each other in the seventies in Chicago and Philly and Detroit and Memphis there was no rap mm-hmm. music yet so it's part of the culture. Is the expression of what goes on outside until we start to change the mindset. But don't worry about it, y'all, because guess what? This white man is going to change the mindset because he's gentrifying niggas. All right, check this out, my G. Check this out, my guy. I'm laying here. I'm laying here. Okay. What I'm saying is, and I'm, I'm this is forewarning. They already got cameras everywhere and got you on camera where they see everything. They don't need you now. The urban criminal is obsolete. You are done. They don't need you. We're going into a whole new, whole new uh, world and. That urbanized criminal that we still want to celebrate, that real nigga culture, is done. They don't only want you in the communities that you lived in. It's over with. So in, in, until you change, they got a warehouse for niggas. I'm done. Man, and like, one thing that, that got to happen is that like, they need to cut all this food stamp shit off for young people. Cut that shit off. Because this is why it's crippling people. It's really crippling people. Government aid. They paying you to sit down, be still. Don't we gonna feed you? We gonna do so. That's control. That's enough. That's just like having a man, a woman have not having a job because she pretty and got a man. Said, "Baby, I'm gonna take care of you." He gonna tell you what you are gonna eat, where you are going, everything. He's gonna control everything that you got going on. To black people, gotta say, you know what, man? When can you get? How can you get comfortable with the government give you seven hundred dollars a month and three hundred dollars in food stamps? How? So you you growing up in poverty. So when you go around poverty, everybody, then you see somebody right next to you, this dude over here rapping, and he come back and make it cool and make some money. He coming back shitting on everybody. He's come back flashing his jewelry. So what happened? Jealousy kick in. Jealousy kick in. What nigga said? That nigga think he's somebody. Um, I'm going to show that nigga. That's how niggas be setting niggas up. All that. You can't. The mentality of people... Women got to quit having these baby by these no good ass niggas out here have because they, they keep producing. These women keep having these, they just breeding. They ain't having baby, they breeding. So how, you tw- how you 24, 20, 25 with five kids? Can I ask y'all a quick question though about Big Juke though? Was, did anybody say, was, did this look like it was like a, a, a paid hit? No, bro, don't even throw that out here. I'm just these, saying, like. No, nah, no, nah, nobody said that. Nope, 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 don't say that. that. No, 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 not that nobody says, but how it was carried out. 
It's carried out. He got shot right now. That's so right. you got to use your imagination. You can no, no, no. You big, hold, hold on, Big C. This is the first I, time. I mean, respectfully, though, bro. I ain't no, saying, like, disrespectful. No, no, I'm just saying, no, like. No, Big C, this is the first time a label a executive. This is not an art. So we're talking about somebody who's executive at a label. So this is, like, a different conversation. We're not talking about the streets and food stamps. We're talking about, like, a label. If this was the white person, the, post, the, the National Guard would be in Memphis right now if he owned a label and got killed. So we are. What, what should, in my yeah, opinion, uh, in my Memphis. opinion, what should have happened? I'm from Memphis, bro. I'm from North Memphis, Washington Brown, Hood, South Memphis, went to Hamilton. Nine on one street. Yeah, I'm from that there, Lamar, LMG. Yeah, uh, Hood of Memphis, but you knew I didn't want to stay in that bitch. No, no, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, as far as Blue, this Blue, is what should, this is what should have happened. Hold on, his bro. title and that label. Because I think okay, he's the vice on, president, hold right? On. Not, not, no, 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 no. Don't even we ain't talking about his title. If you're going to, since you're going to go there, let me make you real big and, and colorful and HD for you, 4K. What they should have had, the fear they went to, they should have had the fucking police there. Because that was a, re- that wasn't a regular individual that passed. Apparently this they was did. was a high profile person. Say what? Apparently they did. In three no, minutes. they didn't. Oh, really? Okay. No, bro, they should they should have they had police presence there. Once you've been involved in situations that has happened with CMG and that type of stuff that's going back and forth, you're supposed to have professional arms to keep up around this motherfucker like the damn Pope with security. Right. At that point. You see what I'm saying? So whenever there is a real high profile person that passed, it should have been there. You got to take, once you got war with people in the street, you got to take the extra step, bro. It's done for the cloud. That real nigga shit go out the window. Dang. Mm-hmm. So, but that I, shit, I, that I, real thing, shit, you gotta play, you gotta... Building. Hold on, hold on, Big C. For the people who just came in the building, Big C, OG, you know what I'm saying? And he familiar with both sides. Like, people who like to put the, the uh, PRE, the pre against CMG. He familiar with both sides, man. He have a relationship with both of them. So, when he's speaking, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? He's speaking from a good place, for sure. And, like, bro, because, like, you got... When you in the position that that PRE CMG people in, bro, that I'm in, mean, it's like these the young dudes people that's trying to get on, they really look for you, bro, for some bro, we ain't asking you just to sign me and this, that, and the third. But we looking like, bro, man, help a nigga get a nigga some game, tell a nigga some, bro. Help me get out what I'm in, cause I'm tired of it. These niggas in the streets, bro, for real. They tired. They tired of these streets for real, bro. They tired of for real. What's happening, niggas glorifying and making more than what it is. It make a nigga feel good, bro, when you can pull up on a block and you in the foreign or something like that, bro, and they listen to you. They're like, man, man, bro, man, bro, I'm just pulled straight up on a nigga, bro. He riding range and he bam, bam, bam. Cause don't nobody talk to him. Don't nobody talk to these dudes in the street, bro, that it made it say, bro, yeah, I used to do what you did. Same thing, and you giving them something. Cause most of them gonna say, you know what, bro, I ain't think about it like that, bro. Fact. That's how niggas be thinking. I ain't think about it like that. Cause they ain't got a daddy at home. They ain't got an uncle they can con- contact. So they'll pull up at like I, a young dude was at the store. My uncle, man, can I, can I get you out of dollars and ten? I said, bro, how are you, man? I'm 19. I said, bro, why in the hell you out here, bro? Straight up. I said, I ain't got no dollar ten. What I got though is this year. I'm going to give you my phone number. Tomorrow, I'll take an hour and a half out of my time, bro, to drive you up and down these damn streets to get you a job application. <laughs> you too young, bro. See, he ain't think nothing was wrong with what he was doing. I said, but also, you begging, bro, but you got on George. You might need to change your outfit. And he just bust out like, he's like, damn, I ain't even think about it like that. I'm like, bro, you, you, it, I'm too long in the game. Be switching up plays. Bro, late in the game. It's four quarter. Yeah. You trying to change plays right now? You ain't ready for what you're doing. You ain't ready to beg. You too fresh to beg. You ain't look homeless. But ain't nobody giving them the game on what they doing. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody giving them the game on what they doing, bro. But you oh, gotta man. let these little y'all niggas know, bro. That's another way you can do it, bro. I feel you, bro, for real. Let me show you something. But when you in a position, that's just like this right here, though. If you got an uncle or somebody used to work at a factory, work at Sears or whatever, Amazon, FedEx, whatever, they're gonna shit on you, bro. Trying to get you on. But everybody damn that got on at them jobs, somebody put them on. Everybody in here got a family member. They got somebody that put them on. Go down there, tell them, man, I sent you. I work on third shift. Her name's Sarah. She gonna tell you, tell her, I said you my nephew. They're gonna hire you without no question. It's supposed to be the same thing all the way around. This is this real talk here, bro. This is real talk. That's how they go. Real but you gotta know how to put yourself in a position though. 
Like I did deals with the NBA, with NASCAR, with Magic Johnson, with Burger King. Did he, did he so when I got a chance like, to get out prepared for, I was finna go, bro. Did he come with a price? Cause I know you can't, man, bro. All that street, man, fuck that street shit ain't it, bro. That is not the smoke, bro. Right. That is not it. That is not it. You got to have somebody, bro, in position, bro. That real nigga shit being a thug and guys, don't white folks don't want to hear that in man corporate building. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear that. And you got to put yourself in position of that. And we be wanting to my day holding up. That's why people, like, if you out here work, and ain't no knock to nobody working fast food restaurant, but you put yourself in a position, man, to work fine. You put yourself in a position to do that right there. That shit can't work, bro. Nigga, I get tired of that shit. Then all the any young people listen to, bro, y'all trying to say so that shit. you saying a working man a sucker, bro? They, they, no, they, I ain't saying no good, working bro. man no sucker. I ain't saying no working man no sucker. You got to cross. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't calling no working person no sucker, but you get an honest job, you stand out the way. That's the second time I had to remove you. Because then what the niggas ain't ready for. Ain't that nigga ready to go in there and lay down and get them for 20 years? That thing ain't. Yeah, no. Then take a month for you to get your commissary. They ain't ready for that. They ain't ready for it. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what they ain't ready for. They ain't ready for that. <laughs> that's something different, but... Here's the thing, though. If <laughs> that was that was they ain't ready for. If you saying that you with that life and you out in them streets, but see, once you do, you got duplicate. Get you another biz. Get you something going. You, you this rap shit. That shit just a hustle, bro. Rap yeah, ain't nothing but a hustle. Is. And they got the police all the way through it. That what niggas don't even know either. So let me get all the little young niggas some game. All right. So you got your little crew. One nigga get on, and he 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 big dog. So he big dog got on, he got a record label, he gonna start in we the we the BBBE gang. That's who we is. Now they catch out one of them gun, one of them goddamn switches. Now, now do what they gonna do now. Do what they gonna do. And y'all committing crime because this is what happened when they get on, the rest of the young niggas still in the street. So he gonna go ahead and buy a couple bags, they gonna get some peas. They don't go ahead and sell them some zips. Boom. Now you took the money, now you done bought some drugs with it. Now y'all in the organization because y'all got a name. Now y'all a Rico case. That's what Rico. niggas don't know. Rico. Rico coming. So that's what y'all niggas need to know. Rico coming. That's what niggas don't even know. So you know what I'm saying? Man, that's, so you got to know what you're playing when you're getting in it, bro. That's what they ain't telling no niggas that. They ain't telling niggas how to do that. No, oh, for sure, man. We got... um. 1900. You know what I'm saying? But like right all now. this stuff that go, bro. Click that like this is what come with that. Man, I'm going to tell you something. Any man that's working at FedEx, UPS, Kroger, anybody that's working and going home and take care of their family, man, that's a mind up, bro. I'm For telling sure. y'all, bro, ain't no shortcuts, bro. For sure. That people don't really, it ain't no shortcut. You going to get trapped. You going to get caught up. They catching niggas too fast. Like my man said about the cameras. They got cameras everywhere. Hey, they got anything, niggas in the street that's the police full time working. You don't even know it. You got to have them 10000 You buy, you serve with this nigga, bro. You don't know that nigga just got popped by the cop and they gave that nigga the money to sell you that bag and come back, check who it is. And they taking everything you got. They take pictures of you. And I'll down tell the niggas that happening. That's what's happening That's every for day. Real. For real. A stranger can't get you. A nigga close to you, that's who always going to get you, bro. That's who always going to get you. Somebody that's close to you. That's what they ain't telling people, bro. And you got to know it. You got to know it. Anybody here doing, I ain't knocking no nigga for hustling. I can't. I can't. But this ain't 2001 like it was. It's different game and different player. Now these niggas dirty as hell. That's what niggas don't really understand, bro. That's what they ain't telling niggas, bro, for real. You know what I'm saying? These niggas having babies by women ain't taking care of their kids. So the girl growing up and the boy growing up, that ain't know nothing. Hey, bro. But you hey, ain't telling hey, them, hey, girl, watch hey, that yo, nigga. That nigga there. Was was you should be any man in here listening, and you got a little niece or sister or cousin, and she got a nigga. You supposed to check that nigga, bro. Check that nigga oil. See who that nigga really is. Because you supposed to look at that nigga. Oh, yeah, nigga, you a GD ain't. You supposed to look at that nigga, no. And let that nigga know, bro, you touch a hair on her head, bro. Man, he's, I'm, we coming at you. I'm the first one at it. Because this is what women, niggas don't see nobody around. Every young nigga can tell it in here. Bro, they can go with bro, how, bro. They don't see no uncle, no crazy uncle, no crazy ass brother, none of that. They don't see nobody who they scared. 
So they're going to treat her any way they want. Because ain't no man for them to fear them. But nigga got to know. Nigga got to realize, no. Well, if I touch that grip, I got to deal with that crazy ass uncle her. Real talk. I'm, proud, I'm, I'm, proud, I'm, to, I'm proud to be that man in my family. You got a son, you ain't teaching him this, this, this. So that's what, that's how the young men, how it got out of trouble. They took the daddy out of the house. These women having sex with these niggas that just got swag. But he ain't got no money. Hey, I just dropped the link, man. I just dropped the link for anybody that want to come up. You know what I'm saying? Have this conversation, man. We got 1,900 people in the building, man. Hit that like button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter with a hashtag, man. RIP, man. Big joke. Like, at the end of the day, Again, I see it all the time, bro. Senseless gun violence, bro. Y'all want them motherfucking feds to take guns from everybody. That's what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all doing. Then it's going to be even crazier if you get caught with one. Shit, you fuck around, get a hundred years. You know? So, yeah. like, man, be cool with them guns, man. Real talk. It is, it is terrible, though. For real. For real. They don't even, this shit like here, that shit with that, that shit ain't supposed to happen. None of this shit's supposed to happen. How the hell we get become multi-millionaires then decide and still got the same mentality? That's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Yo, so where y'all go from here as a city, BC? Like, how do you first see this? I ain't familiar, bro. I don't know how they gonna go. <laughs> My God, I promise I don't, bro. I promise I go. I would, I would just love to say that they gonna just stop and the shit, but that ain't that ain't real. That ain't what we living in, bro. That ain't the reality that we living in. Let me ask you this, Big C. You say you're an OG and you know both sides. What what part you play to slow down? Did you talk to golf, dope about guiding? Did you talk about guiding about dope? Try to solve this beat, put this beat to the side, put everything. To the, you're an OG. How you gonna do that? How you really gonna talk to a nigga, bro? And they got four times more money than you got. They sitting on forty bro, million or thirty way. million. Hold on, hold on, hold on, really? You think they really finna listen to you? Like, for real, and this nigga shot at me? And you telling me what? Man, you better get the fuck out of my face, bro. I respect you, I ain't lying, bro. Love, bro, but man, come on, bro. That's how the conversations go. No, that's for sure, that, that's shit. That's how the conversations really go. Honestly, that's just like a young dude you in your hood, bro. Go. You got you a young nigga in your hood, bro. He's sitting on 40, 50 band. And you tell him, bro, put that sack down. Well, do what? And give me what? What man, man, you better go on somewhere old head. That's what they're gonna tell you, bro. For real, that's just how it is. Why y'all call yourself OG then? What's the point of calling yourself an OG? You ain't giving no game. I, 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 I didn't you ain't talking about me, you talking about somebody else. Next question. Yeah, next question. Yeah. You talking about someone else. Right. You 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 for, for, two, for two years straight, bro. I've gave nothing. I don't come on with Chuck pay me, hey bro, look, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. He got so I'm giving game on how to get some bees, how to get you some money, bro. How to take care of your family. I ain't asking that nigga for a dime. I never have. Because I'm going to get my own. It's enough for it to get it. I don't mind saying the, the, the youth of Memphis. What you doing for the youth of Memphis? The 14-year-olds, the 15-year-olds, in them single households. No uh, my G. Since 2007, yeah, I have too. sponsored five kids every year in the Memphis City Schools for underprivileged athletes that can't afford, afford to pay for their they insurance. I sponsor at Mitchell High School. I sponsor a pregnant, every pregnant teenage girl in there for three years she straight. Me, deal, my company, out of my pocket. No publicity. I've done that. So athletes, they, I got a, my company, her company's called Game Time. Bro, I got kids now because we got athletes that's going to school. We got athletes that's going to school. But I'm talking, talking about I'm okay. not hold talking on, about athletes. You said 14, 15 years old, bro. You can't control. You talking to a grown man, bro. You can't control me, man. Watch, stay in your place now. Stay in your place. You know what I'm saying? So you ask me what I've done. So that's what I have done. I have given young men internships. Bitch, God, staying on business, bitch, God. Real nigga God. shit now, bro. That's you see what I'm saying? So I've done that. I've let niggas, okay, bro, this is what come with you. I've consulted young teenagers and grown men in the music business, bro. That ain't right. Call Lil Chet, R.I.P. Guys, move. Help her get out of her contract. I help a lot of people in business, bro. On their stuff, don't charge them nothing, cause they need to know. That's what I'm talking about, bro. What have you done, my nigga? Do you do you spend ten thousand dollars, thousand dollars a month on helping homeless people buying cases of water and making sandwiches and giving out to people on the corners? That's what's up. You're on the right track, but you're on the wrong train, my G. Hey, salute to that man. We we gotta we gotta salute people who 
especially OGs who not just talking that talk, man. We actually walking the walk, so man. For real. Salute to that. That's the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's 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 what that's what I have done. You can Google the shit I've done, bro. Yo, know, when I did the deal with three NBA teams and all that. I gave people part-time jobs to work in the warehouse and stuff like that. I sponsored people that didn't have holes in their shoes and gave them shoes. And pay my time. And retire my mama. That's what I do. And give a nigga game. Bro, you don't want to do it like this. Do it like this. Now, if you go fumble the ball, I think you need to play. Ain't nothing I can do about that, bro. Yeah, you can take them to the Ain't nothing I can do about that. Hey, homie, I didn't expect. I didn't ask about athletes, homie. I said underprivileged. The t- troubled you. 14 year olds, gun charge. He just 14 said year old breaking in the house. I'm not that. talking about no He just basketball said that, like, like you, you must get in. wasn't listening to There ain't no basketball. I said underprivileged kids, kids bro. Bro, man, I'm going to tell you something, bro. Ain't no 5 or 1 C. I'm going to tell you something. You must wasn't listening to something. He said that. You look here. I tell you what. You want to come see what I do, bro? I'll fly I'll fly you down here to Memphis, bro, to show you what it really is. Yeah, you know I mean, but you, you, man, you on the wrong side of the stove, bro. You about to get burnt. Hey, five hundred one c three, but you got, you, you got, you got, you got, you got to have a no problem for a five hundred one c three. You do know that, right? Now you finna talk to the corporate side of me. You know you got to have a no problem. I don't have a no problem. So that's how a five hundred one c three is. When you go to Kroger and buy ten, fifteen cases of water and you give stuff away, there ain't no tax write off, homie. Come on, bro. Don't try to be smart to a genius, bro. Hey, where's exactly. that coming from? You're like, base God, are you in the field? You're not listening. Like, are you doing this yourself? And then is that why you're wondering? Or like, where's that question coming from? Of course. Of course. I got 17 worth of receipts of me buying cleats, going to juvenile, uh, the juvenile jail every week. I speak there, speak at the school. And I got it. I got my history. I came to that saying that. Fox bro, I done been there, done that. I want to show you how to do it. You can do it big. Come on, bro. Come on now. I don't want to. Since day one. <laughs> okay, bro. Listen here. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, bro, and stay positive. Make sure you do it from a good spot. That's it. Respect. For real, you can't do nothing but respect that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Big C, man. Hey, That's Big the real C. deal. I even seen him try to help people, even in this podcast space. He he in music business. But you know what I'm saying? He's seen some people who got some shit going on, even like myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, come with the assistance. So, salute to him, man. But definitely a uh, Memphis legend, man. People know about Big C for sure. People that's watching right now from Memphis, they listening to this, they already know what's going on. And just to verify, he the one who actually know Dolph because Dolph messed yeah. with his auntie, right? He's seen him at family gatherings. Exactly. Miss my cousin. Exactly. So you know, for sure. But he know, you know, what I'm saying he know uh, CMG, CMG too. You know, uh, CMG Big Jook. Like, what type of person was Big Jook, bro? Like, I, I'm hearing he, a lot of. He was like, cool. He was chill. He wasn't. He just, he was a cool dude. I know just I mean always cool. He's always like non confrontational. You know, what no no. It's always man, what's to get some money. It always just on some money. That was the same thing to get some money. It wasn't no hit man, killer, just regular degler, regular dude. Got you, got you. Hey, we you gotta got understand on. that these dudes from the hood, bro. He just regular niggas. Rain That's what great. It, you know what? Yeah, this regular guy, but that's why everybody felt yeah, so everybody. comfortable, bro. That's why everybody felt comfortable. Yo, Remy the Great, um, what you got to say on this subject? Man, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Man, I know it's crazy right now in Memphis, man, on both sides, man. And everything he's saying is right, bro. Like, it's it's a <laughs> lot of casualties that's been going on, bro, that's been going on with this. And this one to just keep it going, man. I ain't going to lie. This one to keep it going. Hmm. 2024. It, it's sad to see, man, because you know it was like a lot of um, you know, great individuals that got affected by you know the whole this whole war. You know what I'm saying? But just to see like it's steady spilling over, man. It's just like it lets you know it's a it's a nonstop um, 
it's a nonstop vibe, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we could get it together. But with this happening, man, it just seemed like it's gonna keep going, man. Cause a lot of people are gonna be angry, a lot of people are gonna be mad, a lot of people are gonna feel like this, that, and the third. So it's gonna be crazy to try to get make cooler heads prevail. I'm listening to you, man. Y'all got a lot of great um um monologue right now, man. I just want to tap in and um just get my two cents. Salute, salute. Appreciate it. All right, I'm out of here, man. I'm gonna keep tapping into y'all, man. Hey, big from, money, man. Keep speaking the truth, bro. Where you from? I'm from Chicago, man. Oh, okay, Chicago in the building. Yeah, he he from uh Big C from Memphis. Oh, that's why I said I'm like he he know what he's talking about. He on point. Mm -hmm. Everything he done said based upon the subject, man. He been he been stamping it a hundred. You feel me? So all of the listeners, man, make sure y'all tap in with him, man. Shoot me a follow at Instagram, Remy H Baby, man. Death for the cop chases, man. Keep doing your thing, man. I'm gonna keep supporting you, bro. Salute, Real dude. Salute. Appreciate you for pulling me in, man. I'm out of here. Salute. No doubt. So we got um. Yeah, man, this shit, this shit crazy though. Honestly, I'm gonna play this video back for the people that are just coming in the building, who probably ain't seen it, man. Great question, by the way, man. Big Juke Day. Huh? Big Juke Day. Hey, for real? Big Juke. Whoa. Yeah, I see him over there. It's a re what is a birthday? What is a repass or a, a birthday party? Oh, it both ain't repaid. Repass. Hey, hey, hey. It was a shootout. That's what they said. Yo. Oh, it's Hell still no. here. I'm I'm a streamer from uh it's still going on YouTube. Here I go. Yeah. I'm, I'm a streamer from uh yeah, it's still going. Yeah, it's been a lot, man. All right, bro. Yo. Hey, K, Cowboy, you dirty ass nigga. <laughs> Man, this song is ugly, y'all. You still got it, bro. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. All right, so we back over here. Yeah, let me play it back, man. Y'all, this shit is crazy. Listen to this, man. Big C, I don't know if you heard this, but listen to it. Yeah, I sure don't see him over the land. I can't. Laying down over there. Huh? Yeah, big Juke Day. Big Juke Day. Hey, for real? Hey. Big Juke. Yeah. Whoa. The other nigga over there about to die right now. Yeah, I see him over there. What is a birthday? What is a repass or a birthday party? Oh, he both ain't repaid. Oh, Hey, hey, hey. It was a shootout. That what they said. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, it's been a lot now. All right, bro. If you do not disperse, you may be around it. It's gonna get ugly, y'all. They killed God the brother. Yeah, they killed Juke. Mine. Did Winchester? What did Winchester? What? Winchester. Yo, Chuck, play that link in the chat. It's in the chat? Yeah, yeah.
It's a family member that was at the funeral, supposedly. Uh, Let me show you how we do stuff around here. Let me show you how to do this stuff. It's true. I know y'all uh, want to know what's going on with Big Zook. Shit. Three men in black ran up in uh, Eric Bovan's funeral, gunned him down. And uh, that's fucked up. That's that. A couple of days ago, motherfucker took a shot at my family. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It, street shit ain't nothing to play with. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know. Details gonna come out. Just know, just picture the scene. Three men, three dudes in black. Bust up in Eric Bovan's funeral. Gunned him down. Three days ago, my boy tried to gun my brother down. What the fuck going on with this shit? But I told y'all before, March the 11th, don't tell me I ain't tell you how it is. I told y'all, I told y'all, who, who gonna, who gonna have to go to a filter uh, to save God? I already knew it would come. I just felt it in my bones. I tried to tell y'all, tease it. You know what I'm saying? When these motherfuckers, Devin Burns, and, 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 and <laughs> we got, we know what's going on. We know what's going on. The feds know what's going on too. You know what I'm saying? They knew what was going on with Dolph. You know, they let that shit play out. And, uh, you know, <laughs> what's gonna call it, uh, big head. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna uh, celebrate like that because it ain't no celebration. But people need to understand in this life, with this murder game, this murder game for real, it's just no coming back from this shit. You know what I'm saying? I always protect your family and, um, uh, you know, put the guns down. It's only one outcome when you play with that. And uh, where we at now, they ain't got rid of, they ain't got rid of the last link. Now, go van uh, should be on high alert unless <laughs> he's the reason this shit happened. Cause they did let him out uh, to serve a mission. And now this shit really than it's gonna ever get and uh, I've been telling y'all the same thing. What goes around comes around. You know what I'm saying? You play with them guns, play with this murder game. It's all about self-survival. It's all about clipping ties. You know what I'm saying? It's all about, uh, and yeah, ain't nobody safe out here. Now, do y'all believe me now? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just- Damn. Shit, it's, it's, it can't help but this shit just real, man. What more can I say? Just put it in your head. Some mafioso shit. Three motherfuckers will get you at a funeral. Just run in there and gun you down. And now I know y'all know who Bovan is. Eric Bovan. A legend. Check out the thumbnail. And uh, ain't no more laughing now. Now would, there, now, would there be a trial? Hmm. It ain't about no trial. It's about covering up some shit and motherfuckers getting close to it. Ever since I sold y'all what I sold y'all, that's why they took their shot at me. Shit is real facts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all uh, pay attention. And uh... Yo, yo, Jab City, what's good with it, bro? Can you hear me? I ain't even gonna lie. You, you can hear me, bro? Yeah. You can hear me, bro? Yeah. You can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. You can hear me? Mm-hmm. Hey, this shit crazy, ain't it, though, gang? Facts. 
This shit wild right here, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Memphis is a different fucking city, man. Bro, hey, you know, Chuck, we got shorties in our city, you know what I'm saying, doing what they doing. They ain't got no guidance. In Memphis, they got niggas that's grown still on that type of time, bro. And they got the gun law passed down now. Man, listen. What was the gun law? Uh, you know, they got a right to carry, gang. Yep, two years ago. As of two years ago, you can open carry anything. A pistol with an extended clip, a rifle, you can have an AR, you can have an AK in your car with you. It's got to be on your hip if it's a handy, and it can have an extended mag. It's fully legal. No permit, nothing. And it's similar to Florida law, but Florida stricter. Florida, I you don't need a that, permit. Bro. All you need to do in Florida, you got to have a license. And when you ride around with it, you got to have the ammo uh, arms distance away from the handy. Facts. And that, that's it. But, 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 and that, Facts. that's pretty lenient. And but the Memphis, Memphis sounds some crazy. Hey, bro, I see the motherfucker get pulled over and they put the nigga sitting in the trunk. Yep. I ain't gonna lie to you. I knew Memphis was different when I was down there with Rich Lord. Rest in peace, Rich Lord. Rich Lord, they walked in that boy and did them in a club, Def. We ain't doing nothing like that in Iraq now. They different yeah. down there in Memphis. They walked in that bitch, and you know what I'm saying? They snap. That bandana. Man, rest in peace, Rich Lord. They different down there, bro. And they standing on that business. And it's older cats, bro. That bandana rose back in here. My nigga said he know Rich Lord, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, what's up, right? Man, Rich Lord got his tour with a nigga and got killed, gang. Yeah, my nigga Rich Lord, man, I fuck with Memphis Heavy, man, you know. Yeah, I know, I don't even want to talk never. about that, but I know about the shit with Rich Lord. You know, I was down there networking with, bro. You know, I was down there networking with, bro, when I was rocking with Pat, you know what I'm saying? When I was doing my music shit, you know, Rich Lord, one of the lords. So, you know, me plug with the Lords, that's what yeah, it was. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Renegades and stuff down there, man. But mm -hmm. I know it's down there, man. Mm -hmm. I pray for everybody down there, bro, because it's busting. It's busting, dude. Like, it, it's busting, bro. Like, they riding around in the summertime yeah. when I was down there, bro, with the choppers out, bro, on top of the cars. You know what I'm saying? On Out the window with them boys, gang. And they talking about our city. Man, we ain't got shit on Memphis, bro. I pray for all of them, bro. And that gang banging shit, once that blood shit, they for real, bro. They coming to get you. Them shadow men, they coming to get you, bro. On everything, bro. Man, the bad thing about Memphis is so small. <laughs> Damn, they hear about no hear about. There you go. That's what I that's, what that's the sad part. <laughs> I just really, I just really say I pray for Memphis, man, because they set them up for failure, bro. That's a small city to have an open carry, with golf carry out there, man, like that, man. And they want motherfuckers to do the jopper. They ain't even do that to Chicago. You feel what I'm saying? They ain't do that to the rack. Memphis and Cleveland, motherfuckers getting laid the fuck out, man, for real. This shit crazy though. It's like shit don't stop, man. City to city, man. To open up the year like this is crazy. Like they say, the net the nickname for Memphis is the city where they love to hate. I swear yeah, to God. Yeah. Hey, bro. Shit yeah. Hey, <laughs> right, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Weren't the police there? They said the police was on deck. The police was there. So I heard it's a funeral, so more than likely, they uh, said 12 was on deck. Was 12 nah, it, on deck? It was no, nah, it was at the repass. It wasn't a frontal, it was at the repair. They still what is to that? be around somewhere when you got frontals and shit going on like that. Uh, every funeral. What is a repass after the funeral? Oh, funeral procession. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you know where they go 
people get their food and shit at. I, you know, a repast is after they, they do the burial, they go and, and they it's eat. Beautiful body and things it's of that nature. Profile, the police to be there. If it's high profile, the police to be there. Yeah, especially him. They definitely was there. Yeah, uh, if you request it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So even though that it's a war going on in Memphis, they ain't going over there just because. Hell no. Nah. That's crazy. Yeah, they uh, even on the team, allegedly. Bro, nah, if you, yeah, on the if you rented a, a place out, bro, you can't just say the police just going to pop up and be there. At that point, you fucking with us. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to, hey, this is, you got to, you got to, at that point, you got to start calling in. Hey, look, doom, 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 doom. You man, this shit can't. crazy, man. I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Hey, Chuck, a hey, whole Hello? time, though, I be thinking motherfuckers be doing extra shit, too, man. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I know how niggas get out in Memphis. We know how niggas get out in Iraq. Why right there? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers could have called him plenty of times, man. Same like they caught Dolph. Dolph getting got cookies Breaking all the up, goddamn man. time. Been flying through there with motherfucking camouflage whips and shit. Why would why that time? You get yeah. me? Opportunity. You can hear me, Chuck? Yeah, we get you. Yeah, we I'm you. saying, like, why they killed why you think they killed them at this time though, bro? Why you think they could why do you think they killed them this time, bro? They could have killed them any other yeah. time. Why this time? That's the thing though. When it comes to death, you got your own date. Not to mention, shit, motherfucker might be there, but they don't got the ups, you know? Back. I think they was just letting time pass by, you know? The car with his guard down, gang. Oh, this slick business for sure. For sure. Slick, slick shit, man. This shit, wow. Oh, him and Gotti was being out of eye at the time, gang. Yeah, that's what I heard. But to me, I, I make a To me, I feel like it should have. I feel like it should have been. I feel like it should have been squashed. You know what I'm saying? We got youngster on the news saying clearly somebody's snitching while he's messaging Dolph saying, "Please don't come to court. Please don't come to court." Dolph never went to not one court date. You know what I'm saying? He stood ten toes. Niggas and it's like dying at crazy times, man. That nigga already told enough though. He's flying through that boy in camouflage whips, getting cookies all the time. Now all of a sudden he he just get killed. Going. Yeah, well, there's a, there's another story about that. The, oh, that shit had nothing to do with Gotti, though, baby. Yeah, that, that, there's a story about that, that what he was R, really doing there, you know? Oh, some double R true La Mafia shit. Yeah. Don't fuck up with them double R niggas and you fuck with true La Mafia. All because of D-Money, man. You fucking with my ops and you putting money in their pocket to, to, to fund them, what you think you're going to be to us, a target? No, oh, this shit is crazy, man. Like, RP Big Jook, about to get up off live, man. We got um 1,600 people in the building. Plus about 50, 60 on Clubhouse, man. Y'all um share the room, hit the like button, share this content on Facebook and Twitter for us. Man, it's crazy. But shit, what can we say, man? Another case of senseless gun violence. It's Peace and blessings. RIP big joke, man. Right.